So uh, I want to let you in on some good news. Uh, I'm going to be making another trip east to Cooperstown to see Maureen uh, and Margaret and uh, my nephews, uh, Sean uh, and, uh, and um, uh, Peter Buchanan, who's visiting in town uh, for the summer. And uh, the best news of all is that uh, my good friends Joe and Terry from Grand Rapids, who I share this wonderful house with, are going to be joining me. Um, so we're pretty excited. I think they're... Um, I want to introduce them, uh, by the way, and uh, as, as you can see, they're pretty engaged. Um, uh, they're working on a project. I, I can uh, kind of explain the project to you in more detail. Well, the, 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 the story is we were sitting by the fire pit, and Joe mentioned this theory of his that he's always wanted to put to, put to the test. And I said, well, great, you know, since we're all going to be together for... 12, 24, who knows, a few days together in Cooperstown, maybe that's a good opportunity for us to, to test it out. And I, so I said, let's do that. And I said, since we all get along so well, wouldn't Kevin, it be great? Kevin, you forgot to put your pants on again. <sighs> oh, sorry. Um, right, so, uh, so as I was saying, since, since we all get along so well, <laughs> so when you think about it, I mean, gosh, it's going to be 12 hours just to get, get out to Cooperstown. And then we get to drive back another 12 hours back to back to Michigan. And so, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty exciting that we're all together. We're all pretty excited. Aren't we all pretty excited about the trip? So, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So looking forward to it. Yes, he. Um, so as I, as I said, we're, we're pretty ex I mean, we're somewhat excited. We'll get more excited as the trip commences. Uh, but uh, I got to go put my... Uh, Put my pants on, maybe some underpants too. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll uh, maybe document some of the project as we move forward. And we're looking forward to this uh, to this trip in a, in a couple of weeks uh, to uh, Cooperstown. Bye. Think about this here. So if we go this way, we're going to be going through Cooperstown. Yeah. Yeah. Where the river is high. That's where the river. See, we come this far, and then the river come, gets high because there's a full moon while we're coming through that. I never thought about that. No, I didn't either. Wow. No idea. Full moon. Is that the same as the moon over Canada? Well, the Canadian full moon is 0.92175 of a full moon. And that would make sense. Exchange rate. That would make sense. Thank yeah. you for checking that out. Too. Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I do. Yeah. So, so we want to avoid that area if we're going to have to. Well, we'll okay. save time if we can avoid that area while the river is up. Okay, it's gonna, oh. that's going to be a lot of work. You know, my biggest concern is that how this might all impact our trip. What do you mean, Terry? Well, you know, all the unknowns, all the interruptions, distractions. I mean, we've never done anything like this before, a project of this magnitude. I don't think anybody has ever done this before. I think maybe Terry is right. Maybe we're bit not more than we can chew. Well, I mean, I admit, to me, when you bring it up like that, um, I mean, we're two weeks into this thing. We've got four more days. We've put a lot of work into it. And I'm just wondering, you know, based on what you said, you know, maybe we're better off putting it off maybe till another time. It would make, you know, maybe next year, it would certainly make for a more enjoyable trip to Cooperstown. Yeah, right? but then again, maybe it's worth the trouble. Look how much work we've put into this, how much time we've committed to mm. this. I think Terry's right. I think we've been at this for two weeks now. We've gone too far to stop now. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think we need to just keep going. So, Joe, you're going to be the numbers guy. How are the numbers looking right now? Well, right now on paper, the numbers look good, but we haven't done any testing. We need to do more testing to make sure that the numbers work out. And if we did that, then, then we'd be in good shape, right? And so maybe we can, maybe we can get it done, you know? Which, which reminds me, it's, uh, I was thinking last night, there's a, a saying that my brother Jerry told me that he invented, you might have heard about it. It goes, it goes like this. Um, it, uh, if, if not now, when? If not us, then who? If not where, then why? If not which, then what? It, you know, have you heard of that saying before? Is that the same brother that wrote songs for the Beach Boys? And the same brother who invented the Apple iPhone? Yeah, that's him, Terry. Yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. did you know, uh, when I was a kid, he told me that uh, when NASA was planning the trip to the moon, 
he texted them and he recommended they use the phrase, one giant step for man, one step man, one leap for man, man leaps on something along. He recommended yeah, right, that. Right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's just move forward here. Let's just move on, upon with, on with this project. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, to if I recall, I'm the numbers guy around here. Oh my God! Are you there kidding are me? Votes to be counted. I should be the one who counts. Uh, we created a monster. We did. Okay. <clears throat> Terry, check. <laughs> Kevin, is your hand up? Yes, Joe, my hand was up. Kevin. Check. Well, that's two votes. We're missing a vote, which would be my vote. Right, Joe. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, the eyes have it. All right. We're going back to work. We're going forward, right? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So why don't we, why don't we continue what you're doing there? And we'll okay. Basically, okay. We'll basically build that into the data, right? Is this the data? Test? That's the data. Test. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just so make we've, sure. We've decided to skip the one, not risk the river being high. Let's just Correct. So as long as it works with Lake Superior, because that's something that I didn't consider on the trip. Um, right. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Canadian side I'm referring right. to. Right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. we've got to make sure we know how that all mixes in with this. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, the, the bottom line, the mileage, the whole picture it's all connected. is all connected. And that's why, that's why. And the stops along the way, it's all part Absolutely. of making this thing work. Who are these guys? We have no idea. Right. We have no idea who these no. guys are. found them in a magazine, and, but it's, and we have to find out. But it's important. Yeah, because that's, that's our question. Yeah. For right. sure. He okay. definitely is not. Right, right, right. right. And right. you know that I'm not. Right, right. 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 But that's all Bill Rodemacher. I think there's a connection to exactly what you're referring to. Oh, here. sure. Right, right. It's okay. possible. Okay. It's possible, yeah. I think we're going to figure so, this out. And we, and we need to know, if we're going to take those kind of detours, those have to be calculated into the whole thing, the formula. Right. Or, absolutely. Or it's and, just not going to work. And we're going to get this test run done in the next four days. We're going to knock them out. Yep. For sure. Okay. 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 Yeah, we do that. Sounds good. We can do it. Excellent. I love working with you guys. Oh, yeah. This is, this is great. Okay. This is I just drove all the way to Belding and back, 45 miles, and we are way off. Calculations, I don't know what we're doing wrong, Joe, but you're going to have to look at the numbers again. Hey, good morning, Joe. Good morning. Don't forget us, you're... So, Joe, what was the ratio again? Six to ten. Six to ten. Got it. did a test run myself about 28 miles and uh, uh, you guys are right the numbers are aren't aligned so
Six to ten. So, good news, based on Joe's numbers, I think we're only off by about 5%. Everybody, uh, here we are, 6 a.m. Uh, in Grand Rapids, about to begin what at one point was just a trip to Cooperstown to go visit my sisters and uh, my nephews with my good uh, Michigan friends Terry and Joe, who've allowed me to live with them. Can you believe it? Uh, for four years. Anyway, uh, it's become something more, and we're about to embark on really some, a project, something that Joe's been was it since childhood? I think so. Yes, yes. yes. I've dreamed of this for forever. And we somehow or another had decided. Campfire that we're going to make it happen today of all days, and so uh, we're a little preoccupied with it. Uh, two and a half, maybe three weeks of work. Um, I'm impressed with the degree to which um, they have done and carried the load on this. And I'm pretty interested, uh, not being a math guy, uh, pretty interested in whether or not this can really happen. But anyway, uh, long story short is we're about to kick off. Um, you guys have anything you want to say? No, we know the number, right? 4356. 4356. 4356. 4356 okay. 56 56. to start. And uh, stay on track. No distractions. Stay on track. Focus, focus, teamwork. Cooperation. That's right. Right. We can't, uh, no distractions, right? Somebody's always got to be maintaining right. the number. Right. Remember, right. there is no E in team. Oh, okay. All right. That, that's an, I thought there was. I thought there, yeah. there a oh, okay. <laughs> But I think I know. I think I know the phrase he's referring to. You know, I think my brother Jerry. I think he. he oh, sure. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. But anyway, uh, with that, um, we're about to uh, kick off. It's forty-three fifty-six. Forty-three fifty-six. Good to go. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. start. Okay. Four thousand three hundred fifty-six bottles of beer on the wall. Four thousand three hundred fifty-six. You take one down, you pass it around. 4,355 bottles of beer on the wall. 4,355 bottles of beer on the wall. 4,355 bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. 4,354 bottles of beer on the wall. 4,966 bottles of beer. So as you can hear, we, we are about 400 bottles of beer into the trip. Terry and Joe are crushing it. Um, and uh, we are just passing Lansing. Um, and just uh, oh to Joe, we're passing, passing, through, uh, passing by Michigan State uh, campus, uh, his alma mater. And uh, we are on uh, 69, I think it is, headed to the Canadian border. There he says, 3,962 beers on the wall. Fantastic. 3,961 beers on the wall. Wait, wait. 3,961 bottles of beer. Anyway, having a great trip, great conversations, beautiful morning, and uh, looking forward to Cooperstown. Bye. Beers on the wall. 3,258. You pass one down, you pass it around. 3,257 bottles of beer on the wall. 3,257 bottles of beer on the wall. 3,257 bottles, 3, bottles, 3, bottles, 3, bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. 3,256 bottles of beer on the wall. Here we are. 3,256 bottles of beer on the wall. 3,256. The guys are still singing. You take one down, you pass it around. 3,255 bottles of beer on the wall. We're having a wonderful time. 3,255 bottles of beer on the wall. 3,255. Ready to enter Canada. Here we go. 
Woohoo! 3,240. 2,058 bottles of beer in the world. Across the United States border. You take one down. You As you can tell, we're right on schedule. 7 bottles of beer on the wall. 2,057 bottles of beer on the wall. 2,057 bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. 2,056 bottles of beer on the wall. 2,056 bottles of beer on the wall. 2,056 bottles of beer. You take one down. So we are still at the U.S. border. A bit of a delay. Um, Google says five minutes, but it's been about ten minutes. Uh, Joe and Terry are taking over the bottles count, doing a fantastic job. And uh, as you can tell, we is waiting our turn. Heading to the U.S. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that we may not be dressed well enough for the U.S. Joe's showing a little too much leg. Um, I'm wearing just a t-shirt. Uh, Terry, of course, is uh, dressed, dressed to kill. But uh, we're, we're going to make it through. And uh, we've got the full stories to share with them if they have any issues. After the problems we had with the Canadian border uh, over the over the bottle song, which was a problem. I was kind of nervous at the Canadian border. Do you, does everybody agree? Raise your head while you count. Yeah. Um, we were a little worried that we might, might not get in because of their uh, restrictions having to do with the bottle song, for example. But anyway, we're going to uh, keep plugging on. Uh, looks like we're still on time for Maureen's. Uh, we've got about 52 minutes left for breaks. A lot of between here and there. Uh, based on the numbers guy who's kept me kept things in check so uh, the less the minutes that we eat into our trip now the better anyway we'll sign off we'll catch up with you someplace in Rochester for the next update and then Herkimer after that all right looking forward to seeing you all come on guys keep it going keep it going We're between Herkima and Cooperstown um, and getting a quick snack. Hi. Hi. Um, can I have the two hamburgers and small fries? Yeah. Do you want the meal? Okay. Medium? I mean, uh, small, whatever. I, Medium's sorry. fine. Okay. Uh, Diet Coke. Right. Is it going to be a plan? Yes. Uh, to go. They're doing a great job. Thank you. Hey all, here we are. We just got off the exit uh, in Herkimer. Um, probably 40 minutes away from Maureen's house. We're so psyched. Terry is, uh, is crushing it as our bottle singer and has been for the last half hour or so. Joe's taking care of the driving, and I'm just hanging. So excited to be headed to Cooperstown to see Maureen and Margaret and Sean and Peter. Anyway, uh, Joe says in the last rest area that we hit the number on the head and it looks like we're gonna end it right on the dime. So thank you, Joe, for taking care of that. Great partners in crime here, Joe and Terry, and we'll see you soon in Cooperstown. Pass it around. Two bottles of beer on the wall. 382 bottles of beer on the wall. 382 bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. 381 bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. Two bottles of beer on the wall. Two bottles of beer on the wall. Two bottles of beer. 
you take one down, you pass it around. One bottle of beer on the wall. One bottle of beer on the wall. One bottle of beer. You take one down, you pass it around. Zero bottles of beer on the wall. Right on the money. Yes, exactly. I can't believe right it. Right on the money. Yeah. It could oh have, my it, God. It, it could not have been closer if we had like made it closer, like tried to make it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But yeah. I can't believe it. From 4,300 and change. Uh huh. That is amazing. Well, by the way, I, since we're here, I should tell you this is where my sister Maureen lives. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is her her wow. home. Wow. Um, this is uh, her, actually technically you could say it's a backyard, but you could walk over the house to the front yard. It's just uh, she's just incredible, and uh, oh, this is such a wonderful place to be. Yes. Um, oh my gosh! And our pride, it worked. I You're know it worked. Yay. This is so this is this is so amazing. All right. So having done that, now that we did it, we should go head to Cooperstown. I think that's what Maureen's expecting. Okay. And take a look, and I will give her. Terry. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Oh my goodness. 